Okay, guys. Some of you know I like to cook a lot. And I decided that I was going to start posting some videos about how I make some of the dishes that I really like. And hopefully you'll like them too. Today we're going to start with what I call my version of... A, I call it a fish taco, but it's really like a burrito. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're going to start with the wrap. This is a spinach wrap. Nothing major, nothing big deal. We're going to put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. Let it get warm because you don't want to put, put your stuff on a cold taco. And I usually keep these in the refrigerator to keep them from going bad. So 30 seconds. Now while that's doing that, let's look at what we're putting in the top, in the in the burrito. This is tuna and salmon. We have cut tomatoes. This is spiralized zucchini, and I made sure I dried it. I mean sorry, squash. This, if I can get the top off. Is spiralized cucumber. Also, try to dry it as much as possible. This is spiralized zucchini. And here we have some doctored ranch dressing. We've had some Greek yogurt, some sour cream, some seasonings, a little salt, a little pepper, a little onion, a little garlic, and some black bean hummus. All right, our Our burrito is ready. And another thing I'm doing, I am making a balsamic reduction. I'm here to tell you, if you've never had a balsamic reduction, I had some yesterday and I fell in love with it. And all this is, is a cup and a half of balsamic vinegar and one and a half tablespoons of honey. You bring it to a boil, you let it simmer, after you bring it to a boil, you turn it down, you let it simmer until it's half the consistency. So what it should do is coat the back of your spoon, which mine is doing. So I'm going to cut it off, and it's about at half. And even though I'm cutting it off, you know the burn is still hot, so it's going to still simmer a little while longer. So I think, oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh gosh, that's really good. So we may use that a little bit in this meal. All right. The first thing I do with this particular burrito is I put the black bean hummus on the bottom. So hold on a second, let me get that open. That was cute. So we're going to take some of the black bean hummus. And if you don't like hummus, you can you can omit this. That's fine. So we're going to take some of the black bean hummus. I'm going to spread it on the bottom. And I'm taking it just in a row so that every, every piece, every bite has a little bit of hummus. Again, hummus is one of those things you either like it or you don't. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, and if you're wondering about the bright yellow of the fish, that's curry. So I seasoned it with salt, pepper, a little curry, a little onion, a little garlic. So that's what I seasoned the fish with. Now, now that we have that there, okay, we got that again, got it in a line, okay? Now, what we're going to do, we're going to get another bowl. I'm going to move some things around. I'm going to move this up and we're going to take some of the okay, some of the cucumber that we spiralized. We put that in the bowl. As much as you want. I'm just kind of feeling it out. And it is still in pieces, long pieces, so you may have to cut it up a little bit because I just spiralized it through. All right, here's the squash. And the zucchini. Now again, I didn't, I didn't cut the zucchini. I just spiralized the whole thing. So let me grab a knife. 
Scissors will work too. Scissors are a little more easier, but since I don't have any right now, we're just gonna use a knife. All right, so you're gonna take it. Sorry, let me move my hand out the way for you. And try and do my best not to cut myself. All right, so that's what's in your bowl. Now again, you're gonna have to cut it up because it is in one line. It's one continuous spiral line. So I'm gonna cut that up. Okay, I think that's good. And you're gonna take the cherry tomatoes, which I've cut in fours, and you're gonna put that in. Now, you're gonna get a spoon. And yes, I'm gonna wash it. All those are wondering, that's I'm going to wash it too. Got the soap. I'm gonna wash it. Okay, so now, you're gonna take your ranch, homemade, doctored, whatever you like. You're gonna take about, this is about a tablespoon. And then you're just gonna mix it. Really, you're like making a salad. And you're gonna mix it until you got a good consistency. Now, I would recommend, because you have a lot of raw vegetables, that you add just a pinch of salt. I like Himalayan sea salt. So this is what I use, Himalayan sea salt. I'll get that. So again, because you have raw vegetables, they're not salted. So I add just about two pinches. I'll say two pinches of Himalayan sea salt and I already ground it up. So. So you're gonna mix that in. And if you wanna add a little bit more dressing to it, you can do that too. So what I usually do now, I just pour it in. Okay, so now you got that. So let's move over so you can kinda get a little more room so you can kinda see what I'm doing. I'll move over to the table. And what I like to do, and I'm gonna see if we can position this phone in such a way. Well, that's what it looks like before you roll it. Now the trick to rolling is you tuck in both sides and then you roll it. So I'm gonna see if I can put this camera in such a way where you can see that roll. Okay. Let's see if we can hold it up this way. One day I'll have a cameraman and this won't be a problem. Right. Tell you what, hold on one sec. Sorry about that. Okay, that's what it looks like when you've rolled it. And then you take your knife. All the way through and voila my version of a fish burrito well folks it's lunch time late lunch um, I'll post things from time to time we'll have better camera angles but hopefully you had fun watching I had fun recording it have a good one